Hi there. <laughs> so things might look a little different than the last time that we spoke. I've been pretty busy, as you might be able to tell, taking everything out of this camper. I spent so much time unscrewing. There were cabinet doors, curtain rods, tracks. Anything that you could think of was screwed in. And I spent meticulous time unscrewing and pulling apart. Tearing down the walls was much more difficult than expected. This wall in particular took me over an hour to get torn out. I tried cutting the seams where it was glued in. And after banging and kicking, those finally released. There is a long black pole you can see that helps release air and smells from the black water tank. I won't need that since I'll be using a composting toilet, but it sure did get in my way when trying to remove this wall. There was something holding it in place no matter how much I tried cutting around the seams with my multi-tool, so it wasn't easily budging no matter how much I used my sledgehammer. After hitting it from both sides and wiggling the bottom loose, I realized that there was a screw hanging from the top of the camper coming in from the ceiling that was keeping it wedged between itself and the black hole. So I was able to remove the wall from the screw by hitting it hard enough to break the wood free and then angling it so that the wall was between the screw and the pole and sliding it out. so different in here now. There's so much more space. The carpet's gone and the floor actually looks pretty decent. Pulling up the carpet wasn't too difficult. It was all stapled down in rows and I was able to cut up strips and just kind of yank them up. Sometimes the staples came with them, but there were a lot of staples that stayed behind. I spent more time pulling up hundreds of tiny staples all throughout the wood than I did ripping up the carpet. Though there was one section that did give me a little bit more trouble. And I did have to remove the toilet from its bolts to get underneath of it, which was just absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. 
the carpet is stained from sun and wear. You can see in some spots where it was a blue color and then other spots where it's almost cream or beige. It's all disgusting and I'm thankful that it's up. I'll be putting some vinyl laminate down, some kind of floor, I'm not entirely sure yet, but something that'll help keep the water and the wear off of the plank flooring itself. But almost everything's out and I'm starting to get an idea of where I want things to go. There are a couple more lights that I need to take out. Unscrewing the plates over the lights and pulling them down and snipping the wires with the wire cutters was fairly easy. So I was able to get it done pretty quick and I'll be updating with LED lights. After the lights were removed, I started peeling back the wrinkled wallpaper. Um, some of it was a lot easier to remove than other parts. It started to reveal the spots that had water damage and the spots that were definitely going to need addressed. Duct tape, little tacks up here. Did he buy it taped or did he give it to me taped and knew about it? RB Chad, you have some explaining to do. Continuing to pull down the wallpaper, I found a couple more questionable spots, but there actually was quite a bit of salvageable wood left in the ceiling, so I think I'll only need to patch up the spots that are rotten and do a really good coating um, to re-rubberize the roof. And I'll have to address that air conditioner at some point, but I'll be putting on an entire new ceiling, maybe with 10 panels, I'm thinking. We'll have to see. And for my final project of the day, I wanted to scrape off all of the sticky padding for the carpet that was in the threshold to get in. I used my multi-tool, which has come in handy so much with this project already, to scrape it up and a shop vac to clean up my work as I went. I am to a point now where I can really start planning the design of the camper, where I want to place things, how the layout's going to look. I do much better when I can really visualize things and opening up the camper so much has helped me to really picture what it could look like in there. I've been playing around with a few designs and I'll definitely be sketching and rewriting things out until I find something that really fits me well. It's been a lot of work so far, but it's been really enjoyable and I think I've come to know that I'm going to be redoing a lot of the walls, taking them out so I can get into the insulation and doing that properly. So I think those are going to be my next steps. I'm 
anxious, I'm nervous, I'm going to run a dumpster and ask some friends, and we'll see what we can do. Thank you so much for following along, and we'll see what's next.